I am Alan Hood. I am the professor of trumpet here at the University of Denver. This is my 22nd year that I'm starting here at Lamont. Um, I'm from originally from upstate New York, in a, from a small town called Pumpkin Hook, New York. And I started trumpet at the age of 13, like everyone in, in school. And uh, eventually went to music school. And I said, like all my students here at DU, we want to play. I want to play somewhere, some, somewhere, somehow. Um, so I went to music school, studied with some amazing teachers. Um, Vince DiMartino at the University of Kentucky. Then I went to uh, Northern Illinois, got my master's degree with Ron Modell, who was principal in the Dallas Symphony. And it was um, in graduate school there at Northern that I decided um, I really want to teach. Um, I, I, I'll always play. And I, and I did play a lot, but I, I figured there I wanted to teach, and that, that became my focus from then on. Then I went to University of Texas and studied with the great Ray Crisara, who was with the NBC Symphony with Toscanini, and um, continued on to the University of Miami, where I was, worked on a doctorate in jazz, and also studied with Gail Johnson, who was the principal in the Philadelphia Orchestra. So some really fine uh, teachers behind me, which I'm very grateful for. Um, I played a lot along the way. Um, I toured with the Jack Daniel Silver Cornet Band across the country. It was a really fun family show of high quality music. And I also toured with the Phil Collins Big Band um, across the world. So I, I did get my playing experience in, but I always loved teaching. And I decided to look for a job. When I was at Miami, I was adjunct uh, faculty there along with working on my doctorate. I wanted that full-time job so that's when the DU job came open and I applied for it and ever since 1999 I've been here. The basic principles of my teaching philosophy fall under one large umbrella and that is I want my students to be able to teach themselves. Um, I'm with them one hour a week. <laughs> um, all the rest of their trumpet hours are spent on their own, so I want them to take out of that studio lesson something that they can think about, something they can use in their practice time to be able to teach themselves. I think that's a very important skill. So um, a lot of my lessons end up being in, very much in a Socratic method. I'm always questioning about things and always asking them about the processes and procedures of what they are doing and kind of give them tips along the way to, to make them come to an understanding of how that technique and process or sound or whatever works um, for them so they can take it, take it out of the studio and utilize it. Then um, I'm also looking at every student for efficiency, I guess you would call it. How efficient are they playing? Are they doing the least amount of work to get the most result and the best sound out of their instrument? I really want to teach them to be efficient and not really working extra hard at trying to play their instruments. So we're always talking about that and discussing that. And once we got those two things underway, it's all music, 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 and listening. And I want them to start developing those skills. Traditionally, in my 20 or so years here, the studios range from about seven members as low as seven to about 13, as high as 13. Um, so it's a very small studio, very close-knit, tight, a lot of camaraderie among the students. And it's generally um, comprised of half and half undergrads and graduate students because, uh, um, of course, we have a, a master's program, but beyond that, we have the performer certificate here and an artist diploma and a performance certificate, a two-year one in jazz as well. So we ended up sometimes having students come back for one of those certificates, or they're coming from another school just to uh, get extra lesson experience and time on their instrument before they're taking auditions. So our graduate studio ends up being kind of high in comparison, so half and half. So all my students get one hour lesson per week in the studio. Everyone attends brass class, which is on Fridays in the beautiful Hamilton Hall over here uh, at 11 o'clock. And that's a, a time and a place where we all get together and play for one another. You get faculty comments. Sometimes we have special guests there. Um, or we might do some full brass ensemble rehearsals during that time. 
Then they will have a trumpet studio class once a week, and I integrate that along with a trumpet ensemble occasionally. So it will either be trumpet ensemble or the class playing for one another. Again, special guests will come in there. Um, we'll talk trumpet, we'll listen to trumpet, we'll listen to each other. And I want really the studio members to teach each other. That's a point where they can critique each other. So it's really a robust program. Yes, we have um, two world-class um, large ensembles here at Lamont, the Lamont Symphony Orchestra and the Lamont Wind Ensemble, and they're both award-winning ensembles, and um, all my students at various times will play, you know, rotate through those groups. And the, the literature that the directors pick is, is amazing, from, from the standard classics that everyone has to know the stuff that's really hot off the presses. The ink is drying on the music. So um, everyone has fun playing in those. Then there's a plethora of chamber ensembles. We really value the chamber music experience here in the brass studio. Um, so invariably one would play in a brass quintet at some point. Um, as I mentioned before, the trumpet ensemble. And there's some large brass ensemble experience throughout the year. And it's not a constant ensemble through the year, but um, usually in the spring we have a large ensemble concert. Crossover here is, is uh, recommended and encouraged, and all they have to do is audition just like any other person for the group. And I'm a crossover player myself, and I highly encourage being well-rounded in every aspect. So everyone plays in all kinds of groups here. All of my students uh, work somehow in the Denver area, whether it be um, teaching a private studio, um, out in the jazz clubs, um, out in the commercial music venues, so to speak, funk and pop gigs, uh, in the uh, Buell Theater downtown, in, in the theaters, in community orchestras, in community jazz bands. Um, my, my studio works a lot. Matter of fact, um, Two of my most recent students really were the top calls in the Buell Theater for, uh, for trumpet and the traveling shows coming in. And what one's out now doing the uh, escape, escape to Margaritaville. <laughs> the DU is, a, is a highly ranked in the nation. The university is highly ranked. Um, and within that highly ranked school is the beautiful and stunning Lamont School of Music. Um, the reason why, I, I, there's four reasons why I always tell people they should check out our school. And the first one, obviously, is the world-class faculty. Um, my, my colleagues make, create music and teach music at the highest possible level. And they really care about their students. It's something I witness every day of all the time I've been here. So that's the number one reason. Um, the second reason is really because of our size. Um, we're a small school, we're, we're kind of capped around 300. Um, our brass studio is pretty small, it's about 30-ish all together, and there's a real family-like atmosphere in that studio. We really pride ourselves on that. And if you like that close-knit experience and really personal attention from your teacher, um, this is the kind of school size-wise you'd want to be at. Um, the world-class building <laughs> facilities. Um, I was here when that was built um, in 2002. It was, my, it was the end of my third year, so I got to open this place. And I've been at music schools across the country, and there's none this nice at all. And it's, it's holding up to be just like new even many, many years later. And the last reason is just because Denver and Colorado are an amazing place to be. You're so close to the mountains. Um, we're very close to downtown. You can take the light rail over here, right over to all the activities here going on, which there are a lot. And to be like 45, 50 minutes from some great mountain scenery um, is something I've always enjoyed. That attracted me to this area.